or 11 or something. Yeah, it was like 11. Yeah. So, we pull into like a secluded parking lot with no cars at all. And me and Raina and John get out. And I tell you, I, I stick my foot out of the car and all of a sudden we hear from down the street, Ray, Ray, I'll help you with that, I'll help you with that. And me and Raina going, oh, this is scary, it's, it's, it's dark, I don't know who's screaming, mm-hmm. tell us Ray, 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 let me help you with that. So we look down the street and this guy is booking it. He's running down the street going, I'll help you with the tire, I'm gonna help you with the tire. Huh? He's running out the car, right? Yeah. And I go, I'm like, who is this? And so he comes up to the car and he's like, mind you, we're all, we're fresh 16 year olds. Right. Driving. Raina just got her license. We're in downtown Milwaukee. It's dark. And this guy's running up to the car. And we go, uh, and he said, I'll fix a flat tire, but buy me dinner. And I said, he homeless. Uh, and meanwhile, every single one of us knew we, we didn't have a cent to our name. And we said, okay. And okay. so we're like, we don't have any money, but this, we don't know how to fix this. So this guy starts getting to work. He's going, he's working. He's getting his life. And he's, he's like, I don't know where the flat tire, he's like, I don't know where your spare tire is. And we don't know either. This is her dad's car. And we don't know where the tire is. We're looking in the, in the trunk. We're looking under the car. We're, we're looking in the door, in the cup holders. We're looking everywhere for this tire. And we, <laughs> and we cannot find this tire. My beloveds, you guys, we are doing a White Castle Moot Bong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what we got is we got oh, some spicy waffle, spicy, spicy waffle, waffle uh, sausage sandwich. sandwich. This is yeah. yours. You got two. Are I'm they supposed to be sliders? Okay, I yeah. don't know. I don't want that. I want the chicken and waffles. That's it. All right, I got that too. Oh, okay. But I just got the two for four. I don't want. To, I only want one. That's okay, cause I can eat. Okay, let's say grace. All right, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food and drink that we're about to receive. We ask, Father, that you bless it, that it may be nourishing to our bodies. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 So I wanted a chicken and waffle. This must be. Yep, this is a chicken waffle. Did you get another one for who? Uh, there should be three of them. Oh, okay. I have four. So. There, she got a chicken and waffle, right? No, you got a, a, a Nutella waffle. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, y'all, and I got some fish nibblers. They have the best fish nibblers, y'all. What is this? I promise y'all, it's so fresh. What is I don't know what that is. I just gave y'all stuff that's that I know. Waffle. Who a had, Nutella waffle. Who had French fries? I got one Nutella. I got fries. Did you, did you want me to keep it in here? What? Who got a burger? That's Darius slider. No, you got a number two. I got a slider. Oh, Darius got four sliders. Oh, this is all his. Oh, that's all yours, Darius. Yep. Okay, this should yeah, be another. I'm not going to be able to eat all that. Onion What's rings. this, baby? Who chicken rings is this? I got onion, oh, onion rings. rings. Those are onion rings. Those are his. You got a big one? No. This is yours, this Darius. One. Yeah, this one's yours. You got onion rings too, baby? Yeah, I got onion rings. I don't know what y'all got, man. Hey, this chicken and waffles, is it supposed this to have syrup on it, baby? Yeah, I got the onion ring. This is, on the side. is huh? it supposed to have syrup on it or something? I don't know. Oh. I don't know nothing about that, huh? No, you gotta take a bite. Right here. Mm. Mm. Okay, so. I never had White Castle. Oh, you have it? No. Uh. Really? No, you never had one. Well, not. I don't think so. No. Every time you guys get yeah. this, it's a. Mmm. It should get. The spice is good. It should get me. Um, where's my tartar sauce? That's what I was. What I was saying. No idea. She didn't give me no tartar sauce. I have to eat those with tartar sauce. I can't eat it without tartar sauce. Here we go. So here's the, the double cheeseburger, y'all. Double slider. Mmm. Pulling the pickle out. Mm-hmm. 
This is good. It's got the mm. it's like got the spicy sauce in it, baby. That. Mm-hmm. Wow. But other than that, the waffle just tastes like bread. I got taste of chicken. Mom, is it fried onions on that? Well. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was raw. Mm-hmm. That's come on. You like it? Mm-hmm. It just tastes like McDonald's. Y'all would like this. One bite? Mm-mm. Just a bite? Mm-mm. All right. It's good. The sausage is spicy. Mm. Don't drop your fries. Mm. It's like hot sausage. Mm. And then, I got a peach soda. Mm. Mm. It's all over your shirt, too. I see. Kind of, where did that do that? Because. Why is it dripping like that? Well, there's an interesting story behind that. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> so I'm in there and I'm filling your drink up, right? And y'all just got one of them little, you know, them automated kind of things where you pick your selection from this, you know, touch screen. So anyway, I'm in there and I press the button for it to fill up. And you're supposed to hold it. So I'm holding it. And then I let it get, you know how you, you can't stop it like right at the end because it don't stop right away. So I let it get to, you know, the normal spot where you're supposed to stop and I let it go. This thing keeps going. The button was stuck or something. It just kept flowing, overflowing. And then you got me the same And it was just, so I just, I hit the, uh, I had to hit it again and then it finally stopped. Mm. And then it was pretty full. And I know you like your stuff full up, you know. So... I put the top on it, and then it started coming through, and so I had to wipe it off. But these fish nibbles are everything. Even with ketchup. Mm hmm. That's why. Right. Y'all look at that inside. Mm -mm. That is some flaky, fresh fish. Mm. Kid you not, worth it. Hmm. Every time I come here, I gotta get a sack of these. A sack. I'm down here listening to my mama. You don't hmm? like it? It's good, but I'm just saying I'm not a big burger person. It's dark. I know. That's your phone. What's matter? Your brightness. Mm. We said that last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So, Darius, yeah. tell Hello. us this story about your flat tire experience. You probably want to close that. No, we want to keep that open. Okay. Y'all, it's um, 70 out here if y'all wondering. 74. Feels good, too. Yeah. So y'all wondering why I got a flush on. And it's not hot like that. It's not hot like... I'm saying to me, it's not hot. To the point where I'm just... Whoa, it's so hot out here. It's windy. You got some wind blowing. That's how I'm kind of sad there. Boy, don't let me speak my mind. I didn't need it. I'm just saying. I ain't even be my father when he's saying something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your opinion. And I have my opinion. I didn't need it. Mm -hmm. Y'all see what I have to deal with. Mm -hmm. These two is too much. We like this all the time, y'all. Mm -hmm. All the time. All right. The story, Darius, before we get to the end of the video, like we mm -hmm. just did. So for y'all, all of y'all that watched the, um, the video from Jolly Bee that we just put out, and y'all wanted to oh. hear that story. Can you stop blocking his face? Yeah. Y'all wanted to hear the story from Darius. Here it be. Continuation. Go. I can't do this 
<clears throat> at the same time. So, this is a long time ago. I'm trying to remember. I remember it was it was it was cold outside. So this is a while ago. And we were going we we're driving downtown in downtown Milwaukee. And it was me. Well, first of all, Raina was driving. She was in her parents' car. Mm -hmm. Right? So, it was her, me, and then John. Right? So, we're driving downtown or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. And on the, the, um, on the way there, oh my God, mm -hmm. on the way there, Raina sees this, like, this error, this warning or whatever, and it, it, she said it, it, she swore it always had been there. It said, <laughs> it said tire pressure warning. And so, I'm just like, okay, whatever. You oh, know, yeah. Yeah, we're like, okay, whatever. Because she kept on saying, yeah, it's, it's always there. Like, my dad, like, said it's nothing. No, it's no, no, possible. No. Yeah. Go so, so we, we think everything's fine. And then, all of a sudden, we take a right. Mind you, mind you, it's late. This is late at night. Mm -hmm. We take a right, and the car thought it was on the X Factor. Thought it was it was giving me American Idol because she was singing, and I said, "Hello, car." Yes, I said, "What's that noise?" And all of a sudden, I started booking it. Like I'm I'm in the back bouncing, and I said, "Uh uh." I said I didn't know this was Six Flags. Oh, so, wow. I said, pull over, Raina. So, we, she, she pulls over to the side, and we get out, and the tire is flat. Wow. There was, like, a nail in it or something, and I'm going, oh, my goodness. And so, we're like, listen, we got to go home. We're in downtown Milwaukee, and home is 20 minutes away. So, we said, at least 15 minutes away. So, we said, all right, how are we going to do this? So, we called... Um, Dylan, which is, uh, he was an upperclassman, and he, he, you know, was, he was already downtown driving, I guess, with some other people. So we're like, hey, can you help us? And he was like, no, you guys will be fine. Mm -hmm. I do it all the time. Just, <laughs> wow. just drive. The, you guys will make it home, I promise you. Dad won't be mad, you're fine. I, I told y'all, that's some teenage stuff right So here. I said, I said, I don't know, I said, I don't know, my, I don't think we're supposed to be driving on a flat tire, but we need to get home. So I said, let's just, let's just see if we can make it, right? So, we start driving, and and we're about to get on the highway. The ramp is, like, within distance of me, from, of me seeing it. And then, listen, the car, before we got to the ramp, was Destiny's Child, and after she was giving me Beyonce. And I, I said, listen, I said, I'm not going to take this much longer. I was hopping between seat to seat, mm -mm. and I said, we need to pull over. So we... We end up, like, the car's literally rattling. We pull over by Miller Park, and when I tell you, I think I saw the picture, when I tell you that the tire is eaten up, the yeah. tire literally, Donkey Kong came and scrat, literally dug its nails into the tire. The tire was, it was literally, we were on rim. We were, we're on rim, and, and the tire was literally gray. We should try to insert a picture if you got it. Then... The tire is literally, literally scavenged. I don't even know if that's a word. It's, it's I know what it whatever. Like. So, I'm like, oh my gosh. So we're, we're like, there's no way we can get home. It's little, it's late. We're, we're about, to be, we're about to be past curfew. We're in downtown Milwaukee. Police are flooding the streets. And I go, Ur, Ur. I said we need to pull over somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we pull over at this. Um, like, what time was it? Tell them what time it was. I don't know what time it was. It was right? like midnight. This well, crazy, y'all. It was late. Uh, or 11 or something. Yeah, it was like 11. Yeah. So, we pull into like a secluded parking lot with no cars at all. And me and Raina and John get out. And I tell you, I, I stick my foot out of the car. And all of a sudden, we hear from down the street, Ray, Ray, I'll help you with that, I'll help you with that. And me and Raina going, oh, 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 this is scary. It's, it's, it's dark. I don't know who's screaming. Mm -hmm. Tell us Ray, Ray, Ray. Let me help you with that. So we look down the street and this guy is booking it. He's running down the street going, I'll help you with the after tire. I'm going to help you with the tire. Huh? He's running out the car, right? Yeah. And I go, 
I'm like, who is this? And so he comes up to the car and he's like, mind you, we're all, we're fresh 16 year olds. Right. Driving. Brandon just got her license. We're in downtown Milwaukee. It's dark. And this guy's running up to the car. And we go, uh, and he said, I'll fix a flat tire, but buy me dinner. And I said, He homeless. Uh, and meanwhile, every single one of us knew we, we didn't have a cent to our name. And we said, okay. And okay. so we're like, we don't have any money, but this we don't know how to fix this. So this guy starts getting to work. He's going, he's working. He's getting his life. And he's, He's like, I don't know where the flat tire. He's like, I don't know where your spare tire is, and we don't know either. This is her dad's car, and we don't know where the tire is. We're looking in the in the trunk. We're looking under the car. We're we're looking in the door in the cup holders. We're looking everywhere for this tire, and we, <laughs> and we cannot find this tire. So the guy says, "It's under the car." He the guy says, "Well, um." Where's that way? something about a, a manual he found the manual and apparently the tire was under the car the whole time and yet there was like this little thing where you had to wheel it down Nutella sorry y'all I'm being interrupted my bad that's good stuff take a bite okay get your mug in there okay so he ends up getting this tire and he lowers it and then we called Dylan again I said don't ever lie to me again Dylan cause I'm not having it I'm over here in Miller Park, 20 minutes away from home, with the tire that's busted. Tell him I'm going to highway, going to highway, you'll make it home. Don't ever lie to me again. You wouldn't have made it. So, all of a sudden, here comes Dylan rolling up, going, oh, sorry guys. Um, sorry this happened. And he's in a car full of freshman girls. And I'm like, I, I said, listen, I went to the car, I said, listen guys. This guy is, is suspecting dinner, and your boy doesn't have any money. So I said, I'm going to need you guys to, to, to pay up. <laughs> and so everyone, everyone in the car is going, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm not, paying, I'm not giving my money. He's just going to go buy drugs. And I said, no, listen. I said, he's over here fixing his tire. And meanwhile, mind you this, it is freezing outside. Right. <laughs> it's not, it hasn't, snow, it snow hasn't come yet. It's freezing, and it's raining. It is raining. And this guy is is getting his life, getting this tire to come out. And I'm going, guys, you guys need to pay up because this guy is, uh, he's over here fixing the tire. You guys aren't doing anything, talking about giving us bad advice. And um, and he's over here fixing the tire. So she was like, so uh, uh, we gave him like, I don't know, like $30 or something. It was and, like $26 or something, $30, yeah. Yeah. And so then he finishes it. Okay, yeah. So he finishes it, right? And he, well, we got we got his life story before he left. Basically, he um, <laughs> he it, he was freshly homeless. He um, I think he 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 got a divorce from his wife, and he had to pay child support, and he lost his job. So then, when he lost his job, he uh, he couldn't pay for child support anymore. And he, well, he he said he he was doing fine for the first couple months. And then he lost his job, and then he started being on the streets or whatever. And he said that he—I don't know what he does. He said he, I think he said he had a job, but he—it's not enough for him to live. I don't know what it was. So, mm -hmm. and he said he said I live right across the way under that bridge. And I said, oh my god. And so then he um, was like, yeah. And so we gave him the money or whatever, and he left, right? And mind you, Dylan didn't do it. Dylan dipped after we, he spent all of his money because none of the girls wanted to give him anything, so he gave like twenty dollars. So, he dipped after that, right? And so, um, me, me, John, and Raina get back in the car. And we're after the spare tire is fixed, it's, an hour and a half has gone by. We didn't know where the tire was. It's been a long time. And the car goes, go, 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 go. <laughs> and I said, I said, Raina, what was that? And she said, oh, my God, we, we, don't, we don't have any more gas. And we are still, we have, we literally, we drove up two inches and the car said no. The car, the light came on and said, listen, bud, you're going to have to figure something out because it's not going to work. And I said, oh my gosh, we don't have any money. We don't have any money. They didn't get all the money to the man. All of the money to the man. So I'm like, what are we going to do? There's no way we're going to make it drive 20 minutes on the highway and we don't have any gas. And John is feeding my head with lies, talking about some, 
well, uh, due to scientific facts, well, if you, um, well, when it's on empty, you can still drive like 14 miles or like 20 miles or something. I said I'm not risking it. I, I said we need to get some gas. So we drive, oh, there's so much that happened. I just realized there's two more parts of the story. So we drive to the gas station, and I literally, Somebody's when I tell you, a baby. when huh? I tell you, what? Just keep talking, dears. I have, they know what I'm talking about. I have two cents to my name. I literally have $2 or something on my card. I have $2 on my card, and nobody else has any money. I said, fine, I'll just put all my stuff in it. So I put, I put $2 in it, in the gas thing, and I don't know why, but everyone thought that maybe we'd have enough to drive to Chicago or maybe New York and back. But when I tell you the gas gauge went like this, I said, <laughs> and then we're looking around, we're going, I don't know what to do. I and then tell me, tell them what and you then, was doing, standing outside that car looking like, we got to wait for a second. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> so I said, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And Randy oh, said, and we're all looking at it like, it, like this is a, a comedy show. And we're going, well, well, maybe it'll go up if we start driving. And I said, well, well maybe maybe if we drive a little bit, the, the gauge will, like, like go up a little higher. And Randy said, yeah, I think I heard about that. And so we're driving, and nothing happens, right? So then, then my, okay, listen. So then she's like, okay, get the directions to go back home, right? So I pull up Google, and of course, Google wants to mess with me. So it's literally, when I tell you, it's making us do U-turn after U-turn after U-turn. We're wasting gas. We're literally going driving around <laughs> Milwaukee going like this. And I said, I said, I'm, I'm seeing store after store, and it's the same one every time. I said, I, I said, Rand, I think we're going in circles. She said, No, I don't think we're going. So we do it about four more times, and she says, Where's this ramp? Where's this ramp? And then it goes rerouting, rerouting. I said, No, no, no. So then it said, Go up this. So okay. So then I said, I think you turn right here, right? So we're driving, right? Oh my gosh. And all of a sudden I said, Rand, 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 what's that? I, I noticed that all the signs are facing the opposite direction. And then I see this fat red sign that says, wrong way. I said, Brandon, we're on a one way. I said, we're on a one way, we're on a one way. And she said, Err. and she did a quick wide turn. In the, in the lane, it's, it was literally a one way. And I'm going, oh my gosh, we we're, were literally about to die. Luckily, no cars are coming. There's a car in the distance. We are driving the wrong way on the street. And I'm going, and it's like a four, it's not, it's not even, it was a busy, like, thing it wasn't just like a back road to back street no this was a this was a, a, a street in downtown Milwaukee I said Raina let's we need to get home now we need to teleport I don't know what we need to do but we need to we need to book it home and then we finally get the right directions up to the house and go home it was the most hectic night I've ever had and I didn't like it we were and we didn't do do what we ended up going I forgot I think we wanted to go to insomnia cookies but we never went because literally we got down there and all that stuff happened in the course of three hours and we finally got back home late and what we tell y'all tell you next time what you see what we say y'all should call y'all parents i could have killed him no i don't want to call you first of all i think she called her dad and her dad was wrong he was wrong you should have called you me know boy that your daddy come said, out anytime you should have called me uh-uh it was too late y'all we when we first heard the story we were not happy you saw sure what we were not smiley well, it wasn't no we weren't no because this this story like this stuff like this this is some typical kid stuff. You driving around on a rim, A, with no gas, B, don't know where you at, C, on the wrong, going the wrong way, on a one way. With a strain. You change your tire, you ain't saying nothing. Right. You know? You out and delaying the wee hours in the morning. Crazy. And it's late, it's past curfew. Past curfew. You know? And you don't call nobody. Ain't no parents being called. So, we were not happy, y'all. Yeah. And he was, the thing about it is he was supposed to be spending the night out. Right. It wasn't that we didn't know, okay, there's you, you're going to be here. Right. This dude outside, that that don't happen no more. Right. Yeah, it was, it was. That's why he can't, with his car being out, when he out, I don't like him being out with his car. Mm -mm. Have curfew. You got to be in the house. No. Before curfew. I told y'all in the Jolly Bee video. That somebody was gonna have a baby by the time he got that story done. That was a twenty minute story. That's I why didn't need it. that's why we cut it off. That's why we said you do it in the next video. I didn't need it. His stories be long. Are detailed. 
Right. And they're giving you life. They have a thing, a plot, an several different they scenes. Give me exposition. They're giving me rise and climax. <laughs> exactly. 15 different characters. They're giving me the following Which action. will be named. Y'all know this is detail. Every name of the character. It wasn't like I was with a few friends. Like, he, he details, like, everything. So, we know. When Darius has a story, sit down. Rest yourself on the couch, grab you some popcorn because it's going to be a while. Yep. That's what we said. But, okay, all y'all that done. were anticipating it, here it is. That's the story. There it was. There it was. There it goes. So, you guys, that is the end of this video. We love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what your girl is doing on the channel with the fam bams. And we are going to see you tomorrow with another video. We love you so, so, so much. Peace. Peace. Oh, excuse me.